34, we can call this meeting to, to order tonight. Hi. Um, so, public comment. Can you turn your microphone on? No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Good. Good. Um, so we have uh, public comment. I know Jeff. And you, do you have anything tonight? Me. Oh, okay. Um, good. Then no public comment. That's easy. Uh, no public hearings. Uh, appointments. We're going to move. Le Jeff Lacours. Is that? Is that my saying that yeah, correct? Okay. Yeah. Lacour. Please come on up. And uh, just sign in if you would and state your name. My name is Jeff Lacour. I'm the mayor and my president. Jeff, uh, Jeff came before the <coughs> Jeff came before the Greater Woods Subcommittee thus meeting uh, and has requested to join the subcommittee, Greater Woods Subcommittee. So, uh, just give us a yeah. Break. I live um, abutting the Greater Wood property and. Um, I like the outdoors. Uh, my wife and our two kids just um, moved from northern side of Merrimack to Marty Drive a few years ago. And um, yeah, I just love the woods, so figured I'd help participate in um, anything I can do to, to help out, starting with subcommittee stuff and <laughs> see where it goes from there. Great. Do you, do you know off the top of your head, because I don't, the registration? For so what we are, we have a full time. We have a full time. Yeah, we have a full time position open, and they start July first. They they run right. through June thirtieth, right. or is it July? They run to July. They run to July thirty first. Okay, July thirty first. Yeah. So we have. I mean, we have open, and we've typically done two years. Mm -hmm. So. I guess three, three. three. Yeah, three. the charges three. for three, three years, and we yes. have a but all it comes <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> well, you take a couple of meetings off and you nope. fall apart, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. I would, I would, uh, I, I guess I'll like to make a motion <laughs> <laughs> to put Jeff on the subcommittee. Uh, for a three-year term uh, Greater for Greater Woods. Um, I guess we could begin it now or August 1st. It doesn't matter. We're not going to have a meeting until August anyway. <laughs> It'll be three years so, in, a, in a couple months. Yeah, three years in a couple months. Uh, so you'll be our first uh, expiring in 2021. 20, <laughs> <laughs> Second. Anybody have any questions, comments? Welcome. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Welcome well, so. very much. <laughs> appreciate you. I know you had some uh, personal items going on tonight, so I appreciate you coming down here to yes. uh, meet with us. Thank okay. You. All in favor? All in favor? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. All right. Passes 700. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate Excellent. it. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you, thank you thank for you. participating. Yeah. Told you that'd be quick. Yeah. Should I hang around or? Up to you. you it's, it's up to you. You don't have to. If you've yeah. got, you got stuff to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Good Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff's already been to a couple of meetings and yes. been helpful out in the woods already. So. Oh, great. Yeah, great, great guy. Um, I'm probably just going to step back here a little bit. Uh, Councilman Albert, if you were just going to fill you, he's uh, at a new appointed uh, ex officiato from the town council. Is uh, so if you want to just introduce yourself a little bit just so well after our last town council meeting we kind of uh, officially voted everybody into their new positions and um, I had uh, expressed interest in the Conservation Commission I've always been impressed how you guys uh, do your business and run and uh, I'm happy to be part of this Commission and just kind of take some time and listen and learn to see how uh, how things are going and and be the liaison for you guys uh, for the town council so um, thank you Oh, great. Welcome. Glad to have Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> uh, all right. Matt Gasperius is not going to be here tonight. I'm not sure if that means we're. I don't know if he. Does he really need to be here for us to. 
approve this. This is a pretty. I well, I haven't seen the permit, so. You you didn't get a copy of it. Just sand. Uh, oh, you didn't see, you didn't get. Yeah, they're adding sand to the beach at Attica. Less than ten yards. Yeah, it's a it's a expedited application. The best picture is this. Yeah, that's the best picture. Basically adding sand around the tree. I did want to I did want to ask Matt just to see what how often has this been done? I, this is the first time it's been in front of us, I know, for this, but uh, how, how often of occurrence is this? You know, I, I don't think I've ever heard in, heard them doing this before. Shoreline Protection Act's not completely new. I mean, they would have had to have some permit to be dumping sand down there, so. I, I half expected if this was a um, something contentious, I half expected to see that that all those cars out there <laughs> were the folks from the Natica Lake, uh, yeah, you know, committee. Oh, the, the, when I saw the cars <laughs> out there, I was like, "Oh no, it's the sand." Oh. But no. Well, that's a not. very that's and a very active committee too. Yes. So so if uh, they knew this was on our agenda and they had a problem, they would all be here. Yeah, they'd yeah. be here. <laughs> so they must Wouldn't not this have a be a good thing to have the sand down there? That's for the beach. <clears throat> yes, in theory. And just to add to that, to what Matt said, Laura Janes, I'm on the Parks and Rec Committee as well, and Laura Janes is on there, and I believe she's an officer within their their um, their group. So, um, and she's well aware of uh, what's going on and, and what Matt has proposed here. So, um, and she hasn't spoken up. Yeah, and she's one of the milfoil fighters. So, yeah, if exactly. there was an issue with the sand containing milfoil, you know, I'm sure she's all over that. So. That's good. Good. Good fact that she knows that. Then this can't be a, a contentious issue. It is no. It's no AOT. Yeah. I'm just not sure if we can sign this with him not here as the applicant. I don't see. I don't, I don't see why we couldn't. Okay. Well, all right. So there's the. Scope of this project is less than 10 yards of sand. There's one, there's basically one location. If you look at the first page of the, of the, uh, of your, the permit here, this guy, there's a little tiny red dot. So you get, a, you get an idea of the size of the lake, the size of the space, and that little red area is where they're intending to dump some sand. And in, into your permit here, you can see, uh, you know, a lot of the roots that are up around the tree, and right off the H dock, in the uh, walk-in section of the beach. So, and this is again, this is for an expedited permit. And it's been reviewed by uh, Heritage Commission and our Heritage uh, Natural Heritage Database, and they did not find anything reported in that area. It's a pretty heavily used area. I can't imagine there'd be much in the way of <laughs> uh, anything of any interest down there, beaten down by the sand. Any comments, questions? You want to make a motion? Or do we want to wait to talk to Matt? So I don't see, I don't have the full paperwork. Do you have the, the to be signed portion? Um, I'm assuming this was it. Matt has not, this is not the copy that Matt has signed. Usually we sign after the applicant. And he's, this is not his, his name is on here, but he doesn't have a signature on it. So he hasn't signed it yet. You could sign it for us with him. Yes. And we could do that down in town, downstairs. Okay. We can go downstairs. So 
I'll make a motion that to authorize Gage to sign the expedited or how do you say it? Expedited. Expedited permit um, for the ten yards of sand. Second. Comments, questions? No? All those in favor? Aye. Nice. Seven zero zero. Great. That was made by Matt, second by Gina. Thank you, Gina. Okay, uh Bowers Landing. Come back. We just can't do anything right, can we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling this phase. This is phase six out of uh, seven out there. Um, this is Bowers Landing. I've just been around for about 10, 12 years. It's a PUD. Um, the Dunkin' Donuts was built at the front for the commercial piece. Then we had the garden style apartments behind it. Um, then we built the townhouses. Then two years ago, we built <clears throat> 50 units of single that's just finishing up right now if you've been over there recently. Uh, we've got about four or five units left there now. So this phase here, is located on this 1D lot 1-4. This whole PUD was made up of about four to five different parcels. They've all stayed as, one, as different parcels. Um, the setbacks that were for the overall projects is there. This piece here is approximately 30 acres. Um, Bowers Landing Road, if you've driven in and through, is fully constructed. These are the townhouses that were built first up in here. This phase, um, if you've been out there, has all been cut. It's been used as a staging area for, again, about eight to nine years. We actually built sewer into the site and back around because the original design was for garden style apartments, 137 of them. Um, if you've been out to this product, those were going to be 137 two bedroom, basically flats. We change it here. These are 50 units, two bedroom, single family units. Obviously, there's a difference in tax return for the town, difference in types of units and types of people that you're putting in there. Um, so we really liked, this was a really popular uh, product that's gone over here. It's gone very quickly. It's similar to across the street, the Heron Cove. Um, but they're single family units, two bedrooms, sunrooms, porches. Um, again, you can drive through, they're all built. And we just feel that this is a nicer kind of use for here. Uh, we're allowed in this last phase 137 units, approximately. So we're doing 65 singles right now. The last phase will be up in here. And what we're envisioning is cutting this off and putting it with the garden styles that are up there and probably doing three buildings of garden styles to get the last 77. Um, so we're still looking for the density, um, at least for now. They're not sure how to go as obviously another two years, three years from now, if that's still a use that's going. But right now we're looking at 65 single family, two bedroom units. It's not age restricted, but if you've driven through the development, you'll see it's laid out and designed um, as an age restricted kind of development with the sidewalks throughout it and stuff like that. <clears throat> we have um, you guys all have the eight and 11 by 17s if you want me to go through the plan set we can but um, if you start with the site plan I'm going to start on sheet 7 when are you going, when are you going in front of the planning board? I'm going to the board tomorrow night for acceptance. Um, that's just the first hearing. We had just submitted this last week. I realized it was on this quickly as I was to you guys. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Yes, tomorrow night is application acceptance. Um, they've told me that they're going to let me do a presentation. We have not had any engineering review yet. 
Um, we've submitted this to the state for AOT. Obviously, you have just gotten a letter saying that they accepted the application. There's no comments that have come back from that yet either. Um, so tomorrow night's hearing with the planning board would be just what I'm doing here with you guys, overview of the project. Um, let's see if anybody in the public has any comments or concerns that they have, and uh, we'll be continuing it to a hearing in July or August uh, for planning board and stuff like that. As far as site plan goes, we basically created two different communities. Um, it's something we tried to create when we did this phase up in here. We kind of had the smaller cul-de-sacs, created little communities, neighborhoods for people. So we have one down here that's towns in place. Um, it's very nice that our grading comes in at 1.5% to a low point and then goes around the cul-de-sac at 1.5% and back. Um, we're not like we had the topo up in here, we're 8 9%, all the blasting and stuff like that. We're much more along the grades and stuff like that you can see in the grading plan that we've done. The drainage and stuff like that, we've curved all this road. Everything's drained into a closed drainage system. I'll go through the grading plans in a little bit, but we have a detention basin in the back here that has a four bay, sediment four bays, meets all of alteration trains requirements for um, what we've got to do for runoff and stuff like that nowadays. The second phase is Toby Circle. This one here, this is a big fill down the bottom down in here. Again, I'll show you on the grades and stuff like that. So we've dropped this in at 2% for our platform. Then we did a 3% down, a 3% back up, and then we finished at 1.5% um, coming back this road right in here. Um, so again, we're not really any excessive grades and stuff like that. We do have fill down along in these here, but we made all these walkouts. So it's worked out really nice with all the units um, out there with the way we've kind of used the land that we had. This was all, again, topoed and done back 10, 12 years ago. We had to re-go out and have the wetlands map, soils, and all that kind of stuff last year. There was a little bit of extra wetland, not on our original plan that had been picked up here. This wetland had kind of always been there 10 years ago. We knew that. This was here most likely from the drainage and outlet structures that we had and stuff like that directing the water, but it's a wetland now and, and we've got to adhere to it. So we've met all the setbacks in there. We're not impacting any of the wetlands. Um, so we're just here because we're in the wellhead district for you guys here. Take a you switch to page 14, you'll see the grading of the Toby Circle that I talked about. We did drop down the grading here a little bit and created a little bit of a hole. These homes here are sitting four feet below Bowers Landing Drive. We typically don't do that, you like to have them up higher, but we wanted to, didn't want to import all the fill out the bottom, and I'll show you that. So we really did a balance. We engineered this actually six months ago, re-engineered it after we sent it out to CSSI and had them do some um, estimates for us, and then we dropped it down a little bit and kind of did some value engineering with the project. Back one sheet to 13. We basically have two detention basins for this whole project. Worked out really nice. Um, we were able to collect, again, all the runoff in the streets. Everything's pitched towards the streets. Closed drainage system in Toby Circle. Comes to a sediment four bay at the bottom of the project. Then to an infiltration detention basin with an outlet structure to regulate our, our two 10, 25 year storms uh, to meet all the requirements. The other detention basin, again back one more sheet, sheet 12, Towns in Place. At the end of Towns in Place, sediment four bay, again the detention basin, again the outlet structure. One of the nice things we've been trying to do is, as we know, trying to get contractors to build these ponds first so that they get stabilized, so that when everything starts directing to them, we don't have the erosion and stuff like that. Having two separate ponds, only two ponds, one for a whole development here, and one for the second one is, we're hoping, is minimizing that. Obviously, we still put all the notes that it's constructed first and stuff like that. We all know we're out there half the time yelling at them to get a construction before they start putting the foundation. But, you know, from an engineering standpoint, we're trying to simplify it as much as possible for these guys. And this kind of came out very clean from our standpoint. Um, 
and that's it. I do have landscape and lighting plans that are all on the plan set. Um, I know some members have already gone through to make sure that our landscape architect's on board with all the evasive species. Um, she's been pretty good lately. If she's missed one, I can take that back and correct it. Um, and the lighting is going to be what's out there right now, which is the downcast, the carriage type lantern light that's up there. All these plan sets have all the details, cross sections, and stuff like that that were needed to permanent a project like this. But um, there's a lot of information here, so if you've gone through it, I can kind of answer questions and kind of go different directions if you need. Leave it at that. I'm used to seeing the, the riprap uh, <laughs> areas, mm -hmm. but I haven't seen Which the pr proposed surface sand filter. What is that? What is that saying? What page on? It's on a lot of pages. Uh, okay. 12. Twelve. It's on twelve to start. Eighteen. Sixteen. Yeah, you wrote a page. No, you're not on my erosion sheet. So 12, you have the... Sorry, my engineer's on vacation. All these plants would usually be here with me. The, the white area. Bottom right. There's the riprap above. And then the, the, the white area says... Uh, propose, proposed surface oh, sand oh, filter. Sand. Right here. Sand filter. That's the bottom. This will be an infiltration basin. So it's got to have a sand bottom. So on our details, we'll have the spec of what that is. It looks like he's called out a certain distance. Well, he didn't hear just six inches per grade. So that's just a sand bottom. That's not the erosion stuff. That's to let the water infiltrate into the ground so we can take a little bit of the infiltration on the pond. We still have the silk, the socks, and all that. You can see silk pencils around them. That's why I was a little confused. Okay, so it hits, it hits the riprap first and then goes through the sand filter before it gets to the four bay. No. It um, comes out up here on the four bay. The riprap's up here. Okay. You're saying the sand, sand filter with the little dot is yep. this whole area that's here. Okay. So on the bottom of this pond would be sand. The four bay's up here with the riprap, and then here's the berm in the middle. Okay, so it's not. I, so I get the it. Riprap will take out. Yeah. What the goal is, as you know, take out some Leaves of the stuff. And, yeah, 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 and the nitrate, not the, all the nitrates, but different types of stuffs floating, in, and then the sand's gonna let it. Filter. Down. And then yeah, that's why I was confused. I'm sorry, because on the erosion control plans, which are later on, and that's where we outline, you know, I'm gonna take this pond here, stabilizing the pond with jute matting around it, you know, and then we have our hail bales and all that kind of stuff that goes through it. So that's our erosion stuff. Gotcha. It's just missing that. So the sand's really just the bottom of the pond? Exactly. Okay. You didn't just say hay bales, did you? I did, and no. she knows it's the detail <laughs> is right, though. Because <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it an hour ago when I was sitting here. It's a habit that dies hard. Yes. yes. <laughs> I can just remember the late 90s trying to find straw bales. To meet yes. all the requirements. Oh, really? So I say, aim. <laughs> now, at least now, it's a lot easier. <laughs> so, what's that thing that appears to be a road that connects the two? So, on uh, one of the comments we got from the sewer department on another project in town, they asked for a 20 foot wide access. We could afford to do it, so we did it. I didn't ask for a waiver. Seems a little bit excessive, but our, our sewer grows cross country there. Okay. So we've got a sewer line, sewer manholes right there, and then another one. And gotcha. they, I mean, I thought 10 feet was going to be enough, but they on another project they asked for 20. So we just gave it to them so we wouldn't get a comment. Mm -hmm. So is that going to be a paved path between? No, just, no, just a, just a gravel, just a gravel <coughs> grass. So. Yeah. I think we called out gravel. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because I'm guessing those two. 56 and 57 don't want to. It's, it's all cash. This is don't want to grab a road. <laughs> so that's going to have to have a, probably have a. Oh, uh, okay, no. Probably not have any water crossings. 
Oh, Culver Crossing? Yeah, the, the wetlands look like they're really close, both of them. Mm. That's why that shape's so <laughs> That's a 25-foot buffer. You see that hash line? Yeah. And uh, that's got it graded so that he's got his low points to go across the road. So he's got an arrow here and an arrow here, and he's got a spot shot and a spot shot so there wouldn't be a culvert. Okay, so it just drains over. So he's draining it over is what, he's, what we're proposing. Okay. As it comes down, it's definitely angled for that. <laughs> Overall, this whole area is pretty sandy. Um, I mean, we've got the soils map. I would, I mean, we had all ledge up in the phase we're doing right yeah. now, so we blasted the whole thing. So I can't say that. It depends on where you are. I mean, down in here, yes, you got more sand. Um, down in this part here, this is all fill at this point now. Mm. So we, we're at existing grade, and that's not going to go down any further. Where they're sitting here, they put the sewer in. I don't think he had ledge, but then I do know that, you know, this whole piece up in here. All ledge. All ledge. Yeah. All ledge. So it kind of depends on where you are. I think overall infiltration is going to be high in this area. You get, you get it's going to be low. I don't have a lot. I have some infiltration in it. I well, it's it's naturally, it's going to. I think you got a lot of sand in that area. You're not going to get a lot of runoff overall. We had about 25 CFS for the 25-year storm. So, I mean, it was, and then we're only can discharge about two or three. So, I mean, it's, yeah. Okay. I mean, give or take. I like trees do hold a lot of rain. And once yep. you take the trees down, you know, <laughs> grass kind of doesn't hold as much. We have no salt, I see. Yep. <laughs> this guy's been out here for a while, so I assume we'd be doing it right. Not somebody would complain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it seems like this is the closest property that you're coming to Penichuk Pen Brook, right? Yep. Uh, well, no, actually, there's another piece owned here by the south. Corp group or something. I don't know who they are. But oh, people okay. vast. So there's one. It's your closest. Yeah, Southwood Corp or so. Okay. And we did send our stuff to Penichuk for their review and stuff like that. Do you have a, I didn't see a note in here about testing the soil types, testing the soil before fertilizing? One I didn't know I had to put on. So no, I didn't, I'm just saying, I didn't have to, but particularly when we're this close to the brook, uh, it says low phosphate, slow release nitrogen fertilizers. When we're this close to water, and certainly in the wellhead, we like to go with no phosphate. And, uh, and we always recommend... You test the soil because you may be over fertilizing or adding fertilizer you don't need, and it's uh, it's relatively cheap through UNNH. It's like twenty dollars, and you can get a soil test, and you may find that you've got adequate you know, adequate soil for growing whatever you need. That's about okay, it. That's yeah. Once a year testing. Uh, we just we just say it in the landscape plan. Just test for your you know test for your. We've tried to get you know communities not to use phosphates but the chance of that working even in the deed you know people just go by the Home Depot and they just buy whatever they need and out it goes so at least during the construction phase right can hopefully get it done right and mm -hmm. then and then the homeowners will hopefully have an idea that what we are asking them to do or not do is is, is passed along but it's so. if it's a condo, won't they have a a condo association yeah, that will be right, taking yeah. care of the yeah. grounds? Well, so they'll have a homeowners or a condos association, and they'll probably end up um, contracting that out. But we're hoping though that if the if the if the original builder does it, 
as we request that that information will get passed along to the homeowners association. So we have a pretty good homeowners association here right now. It's pretty active. So yeah. So you're not intending to have to come back before us. Uh, it doesn't bother me if you'd like me to. I wasn't worrying about it. As I told my wife when I left, I said these ones are easier because I'm not. I don't need anything tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to come back. If you got questions, I need to answer. I'd come back with information. No, I mean I I did look at the the stormwater report. The stormwater all shows you, they're all decreasing on yep. uh, on all storms. So, yep. so so that's a good thing. What that means. Uh, is that they're collecting all their water and they're not letting any any more water leave the site than what's than what's leaving now. In fact, they're actually collecting more of it, so less water is leaving their site. And when water leaves the site, it could go and damage other things. It could cause problems for neighbors and all that. But if they're collecting all the water, treating it all, and co even collecting more of it, then they're doing something better. And, and we do want the water to be to be capture because that way it can infiltrate into the ground, feed our wells that are important to us, our aqu aquifers. So, Yeah, one so. thing that's changed drastically is the AOT. I mean, when you had to have projects like previous that don't need an AOT or something, you need the AOT now. I mean, as you know, back in the 90s, we just kind of dealt with the peak and we just let all the volume go off site. Right. Well, now we got to deal with the volume, which I think from the Mother's Day floods, from the 96, from the yep. Mother's Day, from those floods, we all kind of went, uh, well, maybe we should hold a little volume too. So. Right. Mm -hmm. I think we made some, I mean, clients don't like it, but I think we've made some major strides on drainage and, mm -hmm. and protecting downstreams and stuff like that and water quality in the last really five, six years. Yeah. <coughs> Any more comments, questions? I checked against the invasive list and against the watch list, so I didn't see anything jump out at Good. me. All right. Well, we'll uh, let's say you know, comments for the planning board would be you know, our, our no phosphate, right? And soil testing, soil. you know, and we appreciate <coughs> the no salt. Yep. And you're going tomorrow night, you said, right? Yeah. But I didn't have you to January, July 17th or August 9th, I think so. Okay. So you're not necessarily looking for our comments then tomorrow night? Okay. Staff just told me they're going to just hear it, let the butter speak if they would like and accept it for complete. Information too. This is a, a couple of the color ups. I can leave a couple, but I can reuse really a couple of mine. I circled one. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, need to, I need to turn one back yep. in. Yeah. Yeah. Notes, so. That's fine. I just make so many copies of everything these days now, and I have piles in my office. I'm like, I really should try to get better at yeah. using that, right. especially when I have back to back meetings. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Mike. I'm trying to avoid killing trees by doing more on my ta tablet. Yeah. Good idea. That's a, probably a fossil plant that's generating like, energy to charge that thing. Yeah, that's yeah. Buzzkill. <laughs> <laughs> you just took my fire away from me. That's it. <laughs> New business. The bike demos at Horse Hill. Matt, you sent me a quick note about that. Bye bye. 
Thank you again. Um, the, the, the same uh, bike shop, uh, Cycles Etc., has reached out to us about doing two demos. Uh, one Saturday, or sorry, Sunday, the 10th of Ju June. So that would be this coming Sunday. And uh, one the 23rd, I believe. Of also of June. Of June. Bye-bye. Would they typically have, have how many? I mean, it was a pretty, had a pretty, a couple of them are pretty good size events. Sorry, the second one is July 22nd. That's a ways out. But this one is June 10th, this Sunday. What's the name of the organization again? The name uh, of the organization? Cycles, etc. The bike companies that sponsor bring their bikes are Santa Cruz and Ibis so they'll bring like a you know 20 foot van towing a trailer full of bikes and it's open to the public to come and ride one of their bikes there's no sales going on or anything no sales no they don't sell there's no cost it's just a open to the public come and ride our bikes they'll set it up for you make sure it fits you Put the pedals on that you need, and have at it. Okay. Ride our eleven thousand dollar bike. <laughs> have fun. Is that how much they are? Cheap one. Eleven thousand dollars. Some of them. <clears throat> now, do they have to uh, sign anything, or if they damage the bike when they're out there, oh, are yeah. they liable? If it's their negligence. Mm hmm Yes. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, if you fall down and these things are expensive and well built, they're meant to fall down. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm just thinking because, um, as you know, sometimes the walkers get a little nervous when there's a lot of bicycles running around, and um, especially if you're they're demoing something, and if someone thinks that you can beat this bike up. But in reality, you can't because mm. you're going to be liable for it. But um, I guess the only thing that um, I would ask is just to make, if Cycles Etc. could make the participants aware that there's probably a lot of people out there walking and that the walkers have the right of way. You know, I think at some at some of our previous meetings, someone suggested um, I don't know could give them even a route to go. There is a route. Oh, they yeah, do. Oh, okay. A, there's a loop, and it's all on. The single track. Oh, okay. It's not on the. Perfect. We try to keep them off the. You know. Yeah, the, the main the poop loop. Right. The, the one that goes yeah. out to the <laughs> pond <laughs> and back. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> they call it the poop loop. They walk their dogs up. They let them poop, and they bring their dogs back in again. Yeah, and they don't pick it up. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, like they don't. Of course which, not. which yeah. is a violation of town ordinance. But that's another yeah. story. So. But all the demo bikes, the tires will pick it up. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 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 and distributed evenly amongst the amongst <laughs> trails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the 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 shop before they send them out because it's usually a a tech from the bike company and a person from the shop, and they'll you know have you ever been here? Yes, you've been here. Go ahead. You know, people that have been to Horse Hill know about Horse Hill. You go up to the first left. And you get off the poop loop. <laughs> but the people that, no, I've never been here, they get the, you know, go here. And they usually put up the arrows, demo loop arrows, mm. on the track. Um, and then they make sure after they pick up all the arrows. And anything that may have, any litter that may have been dropped along the way. Okay. They typically go up the bypass, down outer ledges, out twister, and then back up, loop, up um, rocky, mm -hmm. or uh, not rocky, but I call it rocky, the one that goes up to the top <coughs> of Lodge Hill again, mm -hmm. 
and then down the bypass. Mm -hmm. A new bypass. Yes. So there's two-way traffic on the bypass for the demo loop, but... It's all right. Yeah. That's a good chance to demo the bike. Exactly. <laughs> Got to make sure those brakes work. Limit control. <laughs> Do we have any kind of sign, just a, you know, bike demo coming? The, the last... That, that we can just put in the kiosk just so people are aware? Last year when they did it, we required them to put in the kiosk. And so, so I made them post the kiosk and the, the post next to the kiosk. Oh, so they've already done that? They did that last year. Okay. Are they going to do that again this year? I, I think we should make that a yeah. requirement. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Like just just, just because, I mean, if, oh, pe sorry, if people uh, just... We're, oh, we're, yes. we're within a week on... Yeah. 48 hours, say. Yeah. 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 It's just that if people show up, they, they can, oh, you know, we can go walk over here instead. They can, they can go to Greater Woods or they can go to Gilmore or Natico or something. And I, I think it should have the loop, the demo loop on it. Yep. Just to let people know this is what's going to be. Yeah, if they, with if bikes. they could, they could just, you know, the date on it, and then yeah. make that in its own line, so we can just and put a new date on it next yeah. time they use it. They don't have to keep making one the whole time. Yeah. yeah, I think they just printed it up and put it in a little, uh, you know, like yeah. a laminate right. thing, and stuck it up in like. Yeah. That would be great if they could do that. They could they could okay. sign that just so people are aware. They yeah. At least get it out there a couple of days before beforehand. I know we're you know closing in on date already, but great. Cindy, could you obviously let yep I the will. subcommittee know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, just curiosity, Matt. Um, how many people showed up last year? One of them was really big because it was like a beautiful day. It was a Saturday, and they got. They got it advertised like a month ahead. You know, this one they're going to have five days, and it doesn't look like it's going to be that nice on Sunday. Okay. So I don't think the turnout will be what it was, you know, that perfect, you know, day mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe the larger company coming in July, they'll have time to post it. I think that one will probably be busy if it's a nice day. What's busy? Like, how many people? Uh, so the first one that they did last year, um, there was probably 50 people. So the parking lot with, you know, a big portion of the parking lot taken up because of the, the big truck and the tents and things that they set up, the parking lot was pretty full. Was that after but, the new parking lot was in? Yeah. Okay. Good thing. Yeah, in fact, I think that's why they use because t typically they go to Bear Brook State Park because mm -hmm. it's the only place that used to be big enough yeah. for parking and a tent set okay. up. But now that parking lot is nice, perfect for them. Yeah. All right. Should I put a warning or something on the the Facebook page or just let it event? Yeah, you could. I, mean, I, I don't know if I'd list it as a warning. Well, just for the people that are going yeah, to just, I mean, hey, just as a you know calendar item, we could. Yeah, these aren't dirt bikes. Can you can you send me something because I don't really I want to make sure that I have all my dates and times and details right. Just send me something real short. Sure. Okay. I'll just forward you whatever the bike shop yeah, sends pe me. People okay. people might want to go to try the bike. Okay. You know, so. Mm. Yeah, the, there were there were a couple of like hike, hikers, people that hike horse sell all the time, that tried one of these bikes and they're like, wow. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Okay. Well, you know what? Putting stuff up on the, the, the forum and the outdoors page, I mean, I, I posted some of the pictures of the square cleanup. Like 120 people acknowledge it. Mm. It's like, and how many people showed up to volunteer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to go on that. We're just happy that people are noticing the property. You had like 30 people there, so. Yeah. Yeah, but not right now. <laughs> but when people people didn't know that that property existed, but we're not, we'll talk about that yeah. later. <laughs> yeah, that, that, no, that was good. Day. Do we know what time they plan on running this? Um, no, I don't know. Yeah, they they asked me a while ago, and this is the first date that I could get on the. Okay. Stop the application. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, whatever you send me, I'll put it into 
words in, put it up. Thanks. Yeah, I don't have a, I don't have the time, All right. but I will forward you okay. whatever they send me. Sounds good. Thanks. Um, I, I apologize. Apparently, I, uh, I had two items I wanted to put on old business and uh, evidently didn't didn't get it on there. So. Um, you guys want to hear about them? I'll talk about them, or I'll just agenda them for. It's just this handle it now. All right. So uh, I spoke with Jeff Littleton, and he's uh, you know he's in his Moosewood Ecological. He's in the middle of his busiest seasons right now, so he's going to work up a plan uh, for us for to review. Um, I told him that we were we were interested in looking at a survey for greater woods but you know it wasn't it wasn't a go ahead but please work up a plan on a price and we'd like to review it as a proposal so he's going to do that i was hoping to get it for right tonight but uh he's as i said he's i know out straight right now so um that is that's coming we should probably have it by the next by the next meeting um thursday i got a chance to meet with uh, tracy tar our wetlands biologist or wetland scientist and she made up some maps for us we went and reviewed the um, arm, what we were proposing for our arm fund. We walked out there. She looked at it, said, yeah, this is wetlands, but I wouldn't, I, this isn't going to work. <laughs> I mean, there was, like, not even, not even a question in her mind. That, for both of those. Yeah, she's like, yeah, it's probably wetlands. She, I'm sure it is. But okay. she said, how much fill are you going to remove? I was like, well, I don't think we were really planning on removing any we're just gonna leave it I said I, we could take fill out she said how much how many square yards how much how much land how much wetlands are you going to restore and I was like well we're just planning on leaving it alone she's like yeah so you're just trying to construct a road <laughs> I'm like okay she's like sorry but that's <laughs> ouch yeah I, so I, was like, I was like well okay we didn't really look at it that way but 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 okay so well, she we thought we were stopping abuse. We, yeah, we, exactly. We thought we were we thought we were going down the right path, and uh, she she's very familiar. GCA does a tremendous amount of work with the Arm Fund. They do they work with the town communities. They just did a big project with Keene uh, and, and get, to get some Arm funding. So she her comment was 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 land you know land keeping conservation land as conservation and keeping wetlands. You know, from becoming, you know, you know, up, keeping the upland boundaries of wetlands protected is a much, much higher uh, on their ranking. So she said, I, you know, I have all the wetland maps of your town. She said, well, let me make you up a quick, couple quick maps, and you can look and see where you have opportunities for for arm 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 money. <coughs> so this is something they dropped off today. Um, I think it's actually a little. Well, Maybe it's for you guys it's easy. I think the colors are kind of tough for me to see, but that's my problem. Um, her, her big concern, and when she pointed it out to me, you guys all know where Chestnut Hill is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Highest ranked habitat in New Hampshire. Yep. Really? She's like, if, that's, if you guys have any ability to go after that property, she's like, that's the one. Oh. What's that, in there? That's been cut. Oh, well, we know that. Yeah, but we know it. We, we know that. <coughs> yeah. So she's like, that's the kind, that's the kind of project that you get, but you get arm funding for, um, protecting the, protecting the wetlands and protecting that upland. What was which piece of property? Was uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, you can oh, check. No, I it's the, the chestnut. It's oh. the chestnut hill development, which is so. This is Greater Woods here. Yep. yep. And if you know where the chestnut hill okay. development was going Very to be, good. that's right there, right, so right like there, the right in the middle of the pink. Right where it says pink, and it says the highest habitat in New Hampshire. Yeah. <laughs> The uh, Scalar properties got that. Yeah, the Scalar property. Yes, Mike, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Just I throw that in there. <laughs> so when she says that, does she mean that's for for wildlife or that's for for plant species oh, or? So, so that was that was rankings done um, all through Fish and Game and stuff like that. It's it's There's been something they've been doing for a while now. You can look it up on online. I think I gave you the pointers when we were putting the proposal together. Okay. I think yeah, exactly you should take a look screen. closer at all that. Okay. Okay. Highest ranked habitat in New Hampshire. Yeah. Okay. See, we, what I was hoping to do when we did our thing was to say, hey, we're, we're protecting the wetland in the highest ranked area. But yeah. 
really what he's right. We are building a road to keep people to get a road out of the wetlands area. But apparently it's not going to hold enough water. But so, but, so, so the technicality. has this just detonated our plans to to do the road? Uh, no, well, our plans for the grant or no? For the, well, for that, for that for that project, yes. So we're not doing it anymore. Well, I, I would I would say that no. I think we still need to go after it. But I think that the arm funding is probably not. Okay. We're probably not going to win. Okay. So, so we're not going to do for it for that branch. She's, she's like, you know, there's, there's other, there's other uh, fundraisers that we talked about the trails. Some of those the trails items that we said we, we just need to look into some of the other funding okay. mechanisms. Okay. So, but back to Chestnut Hill. Mm -hmm. um, she just, she just pointed that out as like that's, that's an area that obviously the high, the ranking is very high. She's like, that's, that's the type of property you should go after. That where they were planning on doing the development, they cleared, but they stopped. Correct. That's true. Um, so that would be pretty expensive, probably. To, but to purchase that. To purchase that. that. Um, I, yes, any land is going to. I would imagine with all the engineering dollars they put into that project already to try and purchase that, they're going to want to recoup some of their fees. So yes, I would imagine that it's going to be fairly expensive. So granted, you know, but but sorry if I may. No, cool. Um, fairly expensive is relative. So we paid four point two million dollars for the Horse Hill Nature Preserve, saved five hundred acres, and bought it off of a developer. And they took, they took, the the difference between what it was truly worth and what we paid them, and used that for tax purposes. There may be a compelling argument for the current owner of that parcel to work a deal that way too. So, but. I would imagine we don't have enough of our own funds to just write a check. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> the Horse Hill loan is paid for, though. Yeah, that's that was obviously another comment. Is you know is advertising within the town to you know gather support from the town and you know, potentially put it on a Warren article, but that's not something that's going to happen, you know, in the next six months. So. No. But this is just, you know, again, Thursday. I talked to her Thursday. This is something she threw together quickly with some habitat information just so we had something to look at and look at and say, hey, you know, this is mm -hmm. where we have a better chance of, of generating our money. Yeah. It's very good to know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> so I, you guys, if you haven't seen your email in the last half an hour or hour so, you all have this electronically we're gonna to have to get you added into the conservation commission email obviously thank you um so if we can get that done that shouldn't be very hard um okay, just a quick question yeah please and i think this is an, an awesome graphic when you look at it when we're having a meeting is is chris in the media putting this up on the screen that would be helpful to folks watching if they could see something like this too as we're talking i know we try and do that yeah. i know i know <laughs> I, I know we use the uh, powerpoint no we, we don't we don't have a we don't have a okay. camera for it yeah. um, we don't have the screen like yeah. The yeah they couldn't i'm just looking here you, okay yeah yeah see when they can tie they can tie that all the way in because you're in the, the system in the other room ties right into the media room so Okay. Yeah, this is this is local. Yeah, we have to we have to plug a computer into this, to, which is we can, but but we also give a copy of this goes down to community development because it was here in the meeting, so it's it will it is available to anyone who needs to get a seat, and I I send the soft copies down there too. So but that was again Thursday. I we, we walked this. Um, Mm -hmm. There was there was no no fee involved. Good. So this was that's nice. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah. So they they you know, she obviously uh, also made it clear that you know they would like to work with us going forward. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll see in the email. She said one of the best things we can do is have a top ten list uh, of projects, and and like we've talked about shovel ready projects is have things available that we say okay these are the, these are the things we're really trying to hit and when you incorporate a couple of them like this um, the the mm -hmm. the arm group uh, seemingly 
has some uh, has some more respect for your projects. They okay. take it a little bit more seriously. So, mm -hmm. as Mike pointed out, Scalar has got some pink. So we can look around the map and find any place that's got pink and orange and green, and say where we want to where we want to focus and what projects we want to go after. What's this? Pink part right there. Yeah, I thought it was Wildcat Falls, but it's just. It's just south of Chestnut Hill. Is that, is that by you, Gage? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> What's that? So the so. No, so he. No, let's see how the so Hegan, right? It's just across the so Hegan. That Bob across yeah. the river from Bob. That's got to be right there. That's got to be the property along Meeting House. I mean, along Am. Yeah. Is it the uh, the old meeting, the old Meeting House property, and Weston. Is that what they call Weston it? Park, where they slid. It's yeah. private property. Near there, yeah. You wonder if these people know that their their property is. Oh, you know where that is? That's that big field, right after Riverside, the Riverside Conservation Area. That's Riverside. Yeah, that's Riverside there. Yeah. That's good. That's the next conservation land. Yeah, it's that big field. So that's Bob McCabe's property. Yeah. That's for sale for a one point something million or four point something million dollars or something like that. Oh, that's that's this property. Oh. Is it his or is it across the river from him? Because this looks like it's on oh, the other side of Saudi. Right, it does look like it's on the I other side. A, I think it's on the other side. I think no, it is. I, I think it's the. So when you when Amherst Road meets Meeting House, mm -hmm. back up on the left hand side, that field below, way down. That low field. You used to be able to see it. Now the tree. You know where they forested, where they cut across from. Watson property, mm -hmm. that clear yeah. cut that yeah. you look down there, that field, yeah. I think that's the field. Because mm -hmm. that other stream is what goes under Amherst Road. Yeah. Yeah. See the size of the beaver dam on that thing? Yeah. It's awesome. It's huge. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that must be what that is. I think it's got to be. Because where else are the two streams? That's the only place. They don't really indicate what these pink things are. Highest ranked habitat no, in New Hampshire. No, that's the red. But then there are some things that are pink. Mm -hmm. Like I can see... Um, You're right. Oh. It almost looks like... Yeah, we don't have any. It's, it's not in our legend. Not in... Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not in there. Oh, you mean the, ha the hash? Uh oh, she used to like call right it. It's there? not in the legend. <laughs> right there, right there. Oh yeah, there was some pink. A lot of pink things. I, I can't see the difference between pink and red. It must be like look at Amherst on that down here. Yeah, Wait, so can you see? Okay. What are you seeing? Right two different colors. Right here. Right here. No, that's that's not this. Yeah, well, there's there's some of that, but then there's also a pink in there. There's a lighter. There's two shades in there. Um, like these, oh, I guess yeah, those aren't the same, are they? No. So, okay. So also here, there's a there's a, a, a shot of pink next to the red. Mm -hmm. And then there's another shot of pink up here next to the That's red. It's not the same as this, right? So you see these lines here? Yeah. Right, so this is that. But, yeah, but th but th that's this, this is the dark blue. Right. With a, that's, a that inside line. color is not the same as this. Yeah. That's yeah. the same color. Right. Yeah, it's a different color. Oh, okay. Can try and Can get that that no. yeah. It's a 24. Yeah. Like this thing out to be so they haven't acknowledged. She hasn't, she doesn't have a scar for her on here. All right, so. What? But it is. She doesn't have the Sklar property on here. It's right. Uh, um, yeah, it's right there below Horseshoe Pond. Yeah, it's right. It's pink yeah, there. It's it kind of goes, it's pink and then goes into the black section a little bit. Okay, because you didn't yellow it out as conservation land, though, I guess is what I've said. <coughs> um, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think there's a few more conservation properties that aren't. Yeah, I mean, because even, like, uh, Horse Hill is not, not 
filled out correctly either. Right. There's some more space there. Yeah. So before we move on to the next agenda item, if you're looking to have more fun with maps. <laughs> yes, Sheldon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this Thursday is the re regional open space team meeting. Oh, okay. And we're meeting to discuss town connectivity. Oh, good. With wildlife habitats. And there's a couple of presentations by the guys from Ringe. And uh, do you need, I have a bigger copy of the, I think I do still of the habitat map. I'll take it. You know, you know what I'm talking about? It's got, it's got all the points on it, but we're have, we know we're having problems, but. Yeah. Yeah, know, I'll take it. Yeah, let me see if I can find that. I don't think I can make it, but where is it? Where? It's Milford Town Hall. Oh, th that was last year too, wasn't it? Uh, it's Something was there. That it's monthly. Yeah. Oh, it's monthly? But this is a, I don't usually bring it up to this group. Just send us an email about it. I'll forward you what she sent. Yeah. All right. Well, that was just the uh, old business. That was not uh, nothing in particular. Uh, okay. So, does anybody else have any other old business? Can talk about the scouts? Do that oh later. yes, and I, I know it's something. I think, I think Sharon and I had a little mis miscommunication here somewhere. Yes, please. Okay. Can we talk about the scouts? Okay. Because um, we, we had another request. We yeah we ha we actually have had a couple, and one of them just kind of and I I feel terrible. One slipped through the cracks, so I'll reach out and um. So the first one um, obviously has been on our table for a while. That's Jack Elliott. Mm -hmm. And he wants to do the viewing deck at Greater Woods. So the last communication that I have was back in March, uh, March 20th. I haven't heard back from him. He was going to have something signed. It was, as far as I know, it was signed, and he wanted to pick it up. So hopefully he's picked it up, and I haven't heard anything back. I thought we were waiting for the fundraiser dates. All right. So why don't I why don't I reach out to him and see what his status is? Okay. All right. Did we have a concern with him based on the location of the of the of that and and uh, we I wouldn't say it was a concern. We just needed to we needed to make sure we had you know we just need to make sure we we're doing everything right. So yeah. it's it was a it was a parcel that's on the school property that's managed by us mm -hmm. and it's for the public. So I spoke with Matt Chevernell and Tim Thompson and where it's. They're like it's it's not it's not it's not an issue. Just just sign it, okay, and we're fine. That's all I need yeah, to know. So we're yeah. like, all right, okay. good. Okay, and then we have um, we have two Eagle Scouts that are interested. One came in um, back at, on April second, and that was the one that we kind of. I will take the blame for that. I dropped the ball on. Um, it just kind of came through as looking for ideas. So his name is, and hopefully I don't mispronounce this, it's Siddhanth Danaraj, and he's from Troop 261. He's um, doing an Eagle Scout project. He's in Nashua, currently lives in Merrimack, has lived here for almost 10 years, um, and wants to know if there are any projects that need to be done. And that was all that he said. Haven't heard back any, anything from him. Um, and then we just got another one on May 28th. This is Brigham Parker. Uh, my name is Brigham Parker. I'm a Life Scout in Troop 48 in Merrimack. I'm working on my Eagle Scout rank, and I'm interested in any ideas for an Eagle Scout project. Are there any needs in Merrimack that would be a suitable project? I'm specifically interested in building a structure such as a shed, bridge, deck, etc. Um, I'm looking for any suggestions. And then one more from a Girl Scout okay. troop. I got Joan Lord um, would like to work, her Girl Scouts are working on their bronze award, and they want to make walking sticks, and they want to set up a walking stick um, kind of bucket um, at Horse Hill, at the entrance to Horse Hill, so that people can come take the walking sticks and then put them back when they're done. So there's three, four on the table right now. So I guess one of the things that at some point I'm going to need some direction on is when the scouts come to me or when when somebody sends a contact form 
what will be the the um, the protocol so that I can every scout will get the same protocol okay here's a you know thanks so much and then you know what property are you interested in if the subcommittees can tell me what needs to be done so that I can say okay well you know I know Horse Hill is looking to build three bridges or so is there some sort of protocol that we can set up so that when the scouts do come in so we asked Wendy to put together a projects page for the website okay one page for projects that have been completed and one page that we can populate that says these are the projects and the and the properties that we're looking to have done mm -hmm. so that way when a, a scout or a, a, a either a boy scout or a girl scout come they can they can we can direct them immediately to the pending projects page and say here does one of these uh, you know excite you or, or get you interested okay so, but that's not in place yet that that works being done and of course we have to populate the projects that we want done so right. we'll probably have to reach out to our subcommittees and ask them for ideas of projects to be done so uh, so that that will be helpful later it won't help today no but that's okay that's something that's yeah. gonna yeah we're working on it so but in fact that was something I was gonna bring up tonight was hey hey folks project pages are coming together so we now need to populate the ones that are done and solicit for ideas for more that need to be done so, so do we need do we already have a list we need to put together a list we need to put together a list I'm not aware of a list <coughs> well if if Brigham Parker is interested in, in doing some sort of structure uh, we're going to need familiar. a kiosk at Sklar is that something that we're going to need sooner or later mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that's probably later. It depends. Yeah, I would, we we should have a plan for Sklar before we go doing it. That's town it. is involved with that town property. Okay. Probably where the kiosk would be. Okay. Or maybe not. There's yeah. There's a little. There's, we could yeah, have probably him, too early. We could have him build a little bridge on that place where I lost my sneaker. <laughs> yeah, a bridge over Natticook <laughs> Brook would be great. <laughs> and then the old bridge that's there. That, oh, oh, that's old. beautiful. Yeah, I love we, that. We could do something with that. Oh to yeah, that is. The well, to clean do you see that? The, do you see the hint I gave Kyle yeah. today when in the email? Oh yeah, <laughs> you guys, I just I just copied Gage on the email. Everybody that sees like, that has this, that look Matt has. Huh? Yeah. Matt's like the bridge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, if nice we could bridge. if we could get it cleared out and and, and should yeah. Fine. So should we talk about that now? Is that old business or what? Follow up on Saturday? Well, are we just are we just real. Actually, yeah, well, okay. say, so we've got we've got four potential can well, four potential we candidates. Four One scouts, is scouts. Yeah. Okay. Two, three eagle, and a Girl Scout troop looking for a bronze award. So how do you guys can can um, can the I tell the Girl Scouts that they can talk to your subcommittee is. Do you want to um, jump me to put her in touch with you, and you can have them set them up with the subcommittee? Is that something that you think you, they would be interested in at Horse Hill? Yeah, yeah, I think that'd be. I mean, it depends. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You know what kind of structure they're talking about? Well, they, I think they're, they're talking about a barrel in. or something, Just and a then barrel. they'll they'll make the walking sticks, mm -hmm. put them in, put some put little a sign, sign or, or something, something up that says, you know, help yourself to a walking stick, please return after. Mm -hmm. Because I mean I know I I have friends that love their walking stick so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but so I'll put her in touch with you yeah okay. obviously would be interested in seeing what kind of structure they're they're planning on building and yes obviously some way to make it relatively permanent yes the bucket so, right. doesn't walk That's away what I'm so it's not just a, <laughs> not just a trash barrel sitting there that they throw some sticks in because it's just going to get filled full of trash mm -hmm. well you know I mean? when I put her in touch with you then then you can discuss that with her mm -hmm. yeah. yeah have some deep concrete planters and or stone planters or mm -hmm. things like that mm -hmm. yeah. we've had some uh, some decent luck too with just those posts those metal uh, post anchors metal post. you can take a piece of four by four that's yay hey yay big screw it in drive the thing in and then you've got a small wooden piece that's you can you build it yeah, you know, build your sign or whatever on. Oh, okay. They're relatively I mean, There's some work to get them out, but you have to really work at it. So. Yeah. yeah and okay. the, the only other concern we have is that you'd want to be careful of where snow plowing gets done. Mm. Yeah. So one, it doesn't get completely covered over, or two, it gets hit by a plow. Right. Right. So. So that's 
so the the location the plans for the location the plans for you know what what they want to build for, as a receptacle and then I guess sticks are we however big or small they make them right? yeah yeah we think yeah yeah, yeah. and they should have a plaque that says courtesy of hmm. their troop um, or Sure. Did, I see, did I say that properly? I'm not sure the pr proper protocol for, for Girl Scouts is it? Not to change the subject, but did you guys see that the shed that the Girl Scouts built at the, the dog park? That was amazing. They did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. impressive. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Yeah. Uh, and it's great that they can start doing things like for time. It'd be absolutely great. Now, the, there was a young man that came before the council, I want to say. Jack Elliott, I think. Yeah, he was building an outdoor eco classroom or something oh. in Greater Woods. Did that project get completed? No, no. I was just going to say that was <laughs> we had we had a we had a fifth candidate that uh, fell through. I, I, yeah, I can't More, remember. Yeah. Mason Landry. Landry. Yeah. Um, yeah, he came and that never it never went anywhere. Mm. We've, not, we've not heard from him. It's a pretty it's a pretty aggressive project. Yeah. It needs to be done. And we were actually this uh, Brigham Parker. Has uh, his brothers have a history of yeah, projects so. yeah. in Greater Woods and in the area that are this is well well, well done and well built. So, do you have something at Greater Woods that you think Brigham? The outdoor classroom. The outdoor classroom. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, it was did his brother do the bridge. Yeah, the pair. One, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. One of his right. brothers did the bench off of BB. The, the uh, observation deck. Yeah. yeah. That's that's. Isn't that double bridge? That no, that's that's another same troop. That's a, that's a di his brother is looking to do something at Greater Woods, <laughs> and but um, the first uh, Parker project was the biggest and best bridge I think ever done at mm -hmm. at Horse Hill, off of uh, Abbey Lane. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, yep. It has like granite abutments. Mm -hmm. I mean it. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't. I wish I was there to see how they did that. So what do you think? You <laughs> that bridge has it moved an inch? Yeah. Can I have Brigham contact you for a classroom? See if we can well, take advantage of some little sibling rivalry. I mean, because you are Greater Woods. Sure. I, I mean, I can just reply to his email. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, would, you, would you guys like me to propose that to him? The classroom. The classroom. All right. Well, I told him that I would get back to him. So, so what I'll do is tonight I'm just going to send a quick response back, and I'll copy you. Introduce on me, it. okay? And then Great. you can, okay? I've I've worked with a couple of his brothers. So. Yeah, they they had the breakfast or something. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah we went. Yeah. And then, um, so then Sidhanth Danaraj, um, who is going back to April, I can respond. And if he's still interested, we could, we'll find something for him. Well, I, didn't we? I thought we told them that the fitness trail at Natacook was wasn't that him? I didn't see any other emails. Okay. I know we had a young man just come before us about lighting. He was going to put some uh, yeah, poles up right, in Wasserman Park. Right. Yeah. He was going to mm. he was going to add to a project that was done the year before. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll touch base with this this young man and ask if anyone's been in touch with them. Mm -hmm. And if not, then I'll get the ball rolling. Didn't we? Didn't we talk to someone about the fitness trail? The, there was we were talking about Tamet Casparius about it. Yeah, um, there's a gym owner in town. Uh, <coughs> he owns the CrossFit Earned I Gym. That, I thought that was a scout. I think we talked about it would be a good scout project. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we said, I don't think we had a particular okay. scout in mind. Well, it was an original scout it was project. The, right, exactly. right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's Another what we're one, thinking. Yeah. It'd be great to have, have mm -hmm. the scouts kind of take yeah. ownership of that and yeah. say, look, yeah. you know, it's, a, it's a scout. Refurbish it. You refurbish <laughs> so it and speak. own it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, right. is, that is one of the things that we've, we've identified is, you know, we have all these great projects and then they need maintenance. Okay. So. All right. So we have those four. So I guess maybe what I should do just so that we are all on the same track as do like a monthly scout report to you guys so you know who's doing what. Should I do that just to kind of keep track? Sure. All right, yeah. so I'll send an email once a month. That I, there's probably a project at Wildcat Falls that could be done as well. I'm sure there is. What, <laughs> what are you thinking? Well, there's, there's one area uh, on the north 
River Trail, is that, did I say that properly? The North, North, Loop. North Loop Trail, where they kind of needed a bridge or a kind of an adjustment so someone didn't fall off into the river. Was that worked on already? No, I just, there's only one person that thinks that needs to be done. Yeah. Is that a water bottle? Is that bar? you? No. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think it needs to be done. Okay, all right. <laughs> so then the other thing is that that loop trail has a pretty steep upgrade. Do we want to have that trail? Is there an adjustment that could be done there, or do we want to leave it the way it is? Yeah, that was we we looked at it for a while and tried to adjust it, and okay. it seemed that that was the best. What about a guardrail or something around there? So, like a, like a nice wooden fancy type thing, so people don't uh, slip down. Slip down. Or a handrail that lets helps people up and down in the winter might be an idea. Handrail. Right. Okay. <laughs> I know you don't need it. Okay. Don't need it yet. Well, well my my question is if you and yeah <laughs> if you provide a handrail <laughs> right. exactly and then you have to maintain it yeah. and if you don't then there's oh, you're liable. Yeah. Yeah. liability with it so you're you're walking in the woods yes mm. yeah this isn't Walmart parking lot you know fun. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, there ought to be a project out there somewhere. Yeah, I'll yeah. Talk to, I'll talk if to we're Sarah. stretching it that far, we're putting guardrails up in the woods. <laughs> well, if there's a steep drop, you know, no. then that's the only thing that I'm thinking. If there's a steep drop, that you know, especially if there are little kids running around and they, you know, they get too close to the edge, you know. Is it, no, there's no the, there's no water involved where Tim's talking about. Right. Yeah, okay. no. The, the the place that that's near the water that that somebody thinks needs I mean, if you wanted to in the winter time, you could put like a piece of that snow fence up to keep somebody from falling in the water. But and it's more just to warn them to stay away from it, not really to stop them from falling in. Right. It's this place is uh I I don't think it needs anything. You and your cousin, I remember one time when your cousin came over and I had one of those mini trampolines, and so my kid didn't, like, scratch himself on it. I taped Q-tips all around, and he laughed at me like you're laughing at me now. <laughs> <laughs> Two peas in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> We're careful. You are. It's a mother thing. You are. <laughs> all right, I'll talk, to, I'll talk to the, the Wildcat Falls subcommittee. Thank you, Gina. For thank you, Gina. Yes, thank you. The <laughs> Wrangling Scouts is... Uh, yeah. They're wonderful. I love the Scouts. They they do so many great things. I agree. Know? And they fundraise for it, so, mm. yeah. so they're paying for it. We love Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think uh, the Scalar, Waterfront Park. Mike, you want to talk about that real briefly? Or yeah. uh, first of all, um, I'm sure we all want to say thank you to uh, Anheuser Busch, you know, the volunteers that came out and the snacks they provided, uh, to the uh, Eat Flying Eagles mm -hmm. for all the you know all the, they had like ten volunteers there. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Um, and you know they all the help they provided and they provided that uh, ATV to get deep in the, to the woods there. Yeah, side uh, by side. Yeah, it was nice. um, and uh, Mark Todarski, uh, his backhoe, and yep. he was very enthusiastic about this. And M -E MET construction. Yeah, and, uh, and you know, <clears throat> while we have these people's attention, and they're they're all by the river, I think they all want to see positive things happening there. Mm -hmm. So, I, I think we should keep keep going on that property. You know. Uh, mm -hmm. While there's while we have this interest and yeah, it's over two, over two hundred tires taken out of there, two hundred over yeah. two hundred. Yeah. I put down a hundred. I didn't. It's over over two hundred. Over two hundred. Well you could you could correct me by the way in that email. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I put on there's a lot of tires. Yes, yeah. they they took two, <sighs> three and three three loads of trash to the dump. I don't know if the uh, so it was a uh, there was a lot and that's you know and it, it's much better than it was but it, there's still more out there. Yeah. So couches, couches, we got, refrigerators, we got, we got, TVs. We got, the, we got all the TVs we could find. We got the refrigerator out of there. I think someone may have pushed the couch into the water. Because we, have, we can't find it. We can't find it more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we, we got 
We have we, couch, what couch? <laughs> yeah, my days with the PD going back 32 years, we used to find stolen cars out there, yeah. shells of vehicles, parts, things like that, yeah. you know. But it's an awesome property, and I was really happy when, when the commission came before us and said we're going to purchase that because, I mean, I've ridden that property on my mountain bike and everything, and it's it's really nice out there. You know? So um, ju just forwarded some pictures that Anheuser Bush sent uh, to the committee and to some of the other people that helped. Uh, you think the town council would like to see those pictures? I can forward it to the town council. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, and so that leads me to. Oh, by the way, sorry. Yeah. We, we also want to express our thanks to the public works folks who came oh, out yes. on this yeah. Saturday. Yeah. They saw the email, and yeah, and you know that and the work on Earth Day, you know they did helping there, and a lot of folks came out. That was a big number as well, coming out picking up them in the roads and the parks and everything. And yeah, Kyle's done a great job of yes. and Laurie and getting the troops out there to help yeah. out. So yeah. very supportive. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Um, yeah. So now uh, we get to a certain stage, and we don't really want it destroyed. Um, so we need help from law enforcement. Yeah. Um, so we'd love to. Mike Mike's crafted a letter, and we, we're gonna we gotta get it get it done so we can send out a letter to the local police. And because you go out there now, there's one or two signs left. Yeah. Of all the no motorized signs we put up, the posts that the posts that we put up originally at the very head when you go in are gone, gone. completely. Yeah. Um, it, yeah. And you know, I, and I, I think when we talked about this in the town council meeting, I, and I think you're going to have some people that are yep. still going to fight it, and mm -hmm. I absolutely, oh. yeah, and I believe that Chief Roy will. I got to mean she'd be responsive to getting some folks yeah. down there. Yeah. So. yeah, I was literally told uh, when I was yeah. down there one time because I had to go down there a few times and meet people. Um, by a, by someone who was uh, driving down there, uh, that they they don't care what you know what I say or anybody or the signs or whatever it, until law enforcement tells them not to be down there. Yep. Stop there. They're, they're, they'll, they'll continue. They're gonna continue that. Yeah. And you know, I I don't see any reason why you know they, hey, as you guys know, they've tried to help out in Greater Woods. Yep. Um, but. Um, you know, and everything else, they, they've got a lot of responsibilities, but yeah. I agree with you. There's no reason you can get access, you can get a cruiser down there into that area, and OHRVs over the bicycles, too. So, yeah, because did a lot of work grading that road, so it's easy to get in there now. Yeah. So. You can yeah. you can pretty much drive all the way down the end now without a problem. Yeah, yeah. So. so, oh, was that done? Yep. Yes. Yeah, 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 Mark, yeah, Mark, oh, Mark, wow. went he, you know, that big spoil pile right there, yeah, when you take the corner, he went out and took and drove it all the way down the end. and yeah. Back drag. You got permission from the town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you know, Mike, in that in that light too, I think it's important that when and people when they're out there moving around, myself included, or any of the members of the committee here, is if we see somebody maybe knock down a plate, yep. get a, possibly a description, even if you stopped them and said and their attitude was negative, call the PD and maybe the PD can go over. And have a nice chat with them and say, hey, these are the new rules now. This is the new laws. You don't want to get yourself in trouble. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, pay them a visit. We do it for many other reasons. They, you know, I could see them doing it for this reason. Yep. That, you know, makes me think, go, go back to, like, what you said about, you know, one of these scouts doing a kiosk. Right as you drive in where we put those posts to put the, the post, that would be a perfect place for a kiosk where we could post rules because when you drive in you're looking at it yep. and you post the rules and people go mm, you know there's an rsa behind it yeah this now people are actually starting to pay attention okay yeah. so this is a this is a change and you know we put you know video surveillance on property and, so, we, and we put our game cameras out there well there's uh the flying eagles have already have a camera on the gate so on their, on, their on their gate. And they said, yeah, so we, we actually can capture. He said, you know, you can't see what they're doing. He said, but you can see them coming and going. You can see what they have in their trucks or license plates and stuff. So he said, if there's an issue, he said, call us. So I'm like, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. great. Yeah, I don't want to step on anybody's toes here, but I can also, I'm really <coughs> happy to speak to the town manager and the chief and mention the concerns here too as the liaison to the council, if that would be helpful. I don't want to. Go around anybody or walk on yeah, we, we have, helpful. Yeah, we, we have a Mike, – Mike started the letter. We were supposed to get it out. I was supposed to get it out before the event. Sorry, Michael. 
Um, <laughs> that's that's mine. But now it uh, comes with pictures of yeah, but what now, happened. Yeah, but now it comes with pictures. So you know, we certainly um, we'll send it out and we'll send it to the town council. And if you, you want to be the advocate uh, with law enforcement, that's fine. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, our other other things we're contemplating is is we get Jersey barriers to cry, to cover to close off some of the this a lot of trails that have been created by four wheel vehicles yeah. and you gotta find a way to stop them so yeah. so people can only use the main road to the river because that is a river access point yep. and the main road back out again but we would probably need thirty Jersey barriers to block off all the other little oh, yeah. things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, and they're not pretty. We don't want to have to put those out yeah. there. Yeah, you know, that that's that's it kind of takes a little something right. away from they, they, the yeah. natural yeah. look. Yeah. Yeah. It's another way, another form of noise pollution. Mm -hmm. You just create all this extra stuff in yeah. the yeah. woods that we don't want there. Think just just at the we just passed the Eagles Gate. If there was a something there, or, or, or maybe a gate that was closed at nighttime and a barrier there, and then I don't know if we, if anything is ever done with the. Uh, with the boat ramp there, but maybe some vertical things there just to, to keep the traffic just to the boat ramp and to the parking area. I mean, and then signage. Yeah. You know. Who was it that <coughs> said made this comment about the signage? About being don't not saying it's you know prohibited, just saying hey I, protect our I water. Was, I was yeah, I was, that. I was so you. which leads me to the next point. Yeah. Well, what about boulders? Yeah, there's none down there. A little more natural. Yeah. Well, there's none yeah. down there. So yeah. that's yeah. all. We, that's we all floodplain forest. So right. it's just a fine silt. The soil. We had to import so. boulders to yep. cut boulders, which is not a bad idea in some spots. No, especially right as you drive in on the yes. right there. Yeah. I mean right. that's that's a highway. And the, and the water doesn't yeah. get there very often. No. 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 So that would be a good spot. I do think too that once, you know, I was I was amazed at how many people on Facebook said, oh. I didn't even know this property was there. So I think once people are down there and start walking around and foot traffic yep. increases, I think we'll see less ATV traffic because, you know, they're going to be playing Frogger with people. They don't want to do that. So. Yeah, it's going to take time. Yeah. So uh, the signs. <coughs> I think so. River Works didn't answer. I asked them uh, in, in the last email if they were would still considering yep. paying for signs, even though we didn't do it on Saturday. Um, but I haven't heard back from him. Um, so they said they could possibly cover the cost of our signs for that area. Mm -hmm. It's not a sure thing. Uh, if we put some kind of verbiage that, in, that was educational, like this is a yeah. water resource, you know, no, tr you know, no motorized allowed, but telling, telling them why, to e educate them on the sign, mm -hmm. um, that, that they could possibly support and reimburse us for that. Mm. Um, yeah. So, you know, that, that, that's an easy to say the receipts. Yeah, that's an easy. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, easy. Sure, we can put us. You know, the Merrimack is a protected river. You know, help help us protect the Merrimack or something. You know, no motorized vehicles. Some it's not a real stretch. I would yeah. think to do something like that. So I don't know yet if they're going to cover that. If they would, might might be worthwhile working with them on the language before we do anything. Just yes. to mm -hmm. get commitment. Yep. Um, and the other thing is, would, do you think you, uh, you think we should send out thank you cards to the, those parts, those not you know, not the individuals, but the organizations? Yeah, that that helped us. Yeah, it would it would be I think probably nice for us to have some kind of formal. Yeah, I don't want to say plaque, plaque, but they helped some, out a lot. Yes, yeah, so yeah. not like not plaque so much, but some kind of formal certificate to, that we can send to folks that volunteer. I mean that was that was that was a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work. That was a lot of work. I think Be Becky might be helpful with yeah. that because she sends out the letters to all of our volunteers. Okay. Okay. I, I can I can look into that. All right. So just go downstairs and. No. She tell oh, me right. Becky's Becky. right. Yeah. Becky's in them. All right, right. Yeah. Becky. Yeah. yeah, and if you could bring them to our next meeting, we could actually sign them. Sign them. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That way they get our hand mm -hmm. signature. Right. Okay. So not to open a can of worms here, but. Put you <laughs> in my discussions with um, one of the gentlemen from our new neighbor, the Flying Eagles, they uh, several of them had mentioned that if there was even a narrow swath of trees going back about 50 yards, but it is on town land, that they'd be able to come in. So I'm not sure if, you know, 
in, uh, in our efforts to be good neighbors, the town could arrange something like that to discuss with them. What do they, they want to remove them or add them? No, remove. they want remove. some trees taken down so that they can come in because when they come down, they clip their, their wings on the trees. So when they're coming in for their, their landings, Landing. The trees are out. You know when when you drive into the parking lot and you've got the flying eagles on your left and then on the right there are trees. So they're like, if they can just take out 50 yards going back, doesn't have to be wide, but if that's something that the town would be willing to do, I know our new neighbors would be very happy with yards that. Is a lot. Fifty yards is a lot. They don't necessarily have to take that much out. And those it doesn't are have to be that wide. Giant pines. Yeah, there are. Could we do it though? Pines, though. Can we do anything with them? That's, Is that that's what we're talking about? Drop them across the... <laughs> Drop them across the trails. Across the trails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought I would... They're not going to be there. <laughs> get a pile <laughs> driver and drive them like, <laughs> vertically. Yeah, <laughs> vertically. Because you know, they, are, they are going to be very helpful to us. So if yep. we could yep. in some way be helpful to them, that would be nice. I, I, would, I would say we should, they should put together uh, a plan or something that we can touch as to what it is they want to do you want to when are you going to be talking yeah to i mean we'd certainly be willing to talk to them about it and see if we could help them right but okay. so i mean i know who you're talking about somebody Bob. was talking about i mean I don't know ted didn't, name. didn't ask me about that uh, but somebody else did well bob and was talking to me about it love that because the tall pines blocked their mm -hmm. approach yeah. yeah yeah um makes sense so yeah i mean i could tell them they I mean, want to put something together. and correct me if I'm wrong, but to do that, that we, we they'd have to, this, this committee would have to vote on it, right, to allow it. Well, it's, it's not our property. Town it's town property. So all we could do is just kind of help facilitate okay. communications yeah, with DPW okay. or whoever. Yeah, right. Do you remember so. when, um, you know, on like East Chamberlain Road, when the person wanted to put in the solar panels, and yep. then they said, can you take all these trees down? Something like that, but not really. And the town went in, and they okay. took a bunch of trees All down. Right, yep. So if yep. the town went in and they took some trees, you know, yep. took some trees oh, down. Awesome. It would be a nice neighborly thing to do. For them. You know, and and to to my to that point, if they if they could put together something where they take some of that the pink or, or, or orange marker tape and circle a couple of the trees they're looking at and take a couple of photos to show everybody yep. what exactly they want. Um, it it might think be that would. Yeah. So we we know that they have. That they also have drones, and they some of them are licensed to fly drones with cameras. Mm -hmm. so yeah, they should be perfect. able to, if they could mark the trees or take some good pictures and on the pictures mark which trees they're interested in. Yeah. Then we have something we can talk to. Do you want to right? talk to them? Yeah, I can okay. do that. All right. You'll be the favorite person ever. <laughs> 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 and I, I know, Mike, this was a lot of work, so thank you. Yes, for yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Well orchestrated. Yeah. Yes. All of it. I mean, the, we have this property because you... Your wife will be happy to have you back at night now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, subcommittee updates. Anything going on? We had one meeting. We had one meeting, and uh, we've got a trail day on June thirtieth. We are going to clean up the road down from Conservation Drive, and uh, between Conservation Drive and Red Maple Trail, there was a bunch of silt fencing put in when that road was constructed. We're going to remove a, uh, a bunch of the silt fence that's kind of just now laying on the ground. So we're just going to sort of beautif beautify that area. Silt fence walks walkway. <laughs> Put a couple of new trail signs up there just to just to you know make that area nice. Just needs a little needs a little love. <laughs> Any particular time on that, Matt? That day? On. I think it's 8.30, but let me, I have it in my calendar. 8.30. What day is it? 30th. 30th? June 30th. Saturday. Yeah, and we're meeting at the cul-de-sac up at the top of, or at the end of Conservation Drive. That's it for Greater Woods. Other 
Okay. Minutes. Okay. Minutes. Motion to approve the May 21st, 2018 meeting minutes with updates. Second. <clears throat> I only had one thing. Um, on page two, uh, if you, uh, row 34, which is the motion. Sorry, I put my glasses on so I can see. Um, in the motion, it sounds like we're asking Geo. GZA. GZA. Sorry, GZA, to say it's a wetland. Wasn't that more of a question? Whether it's a wetland? Yeah, they were supposed to, they're just going to determine. It's to determine it. I mean, I don't know, what, I, I didn't have a chance to go back and listen to what was actually said. But. For an assessment of what was formerly South Grid Road as a wetland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, we were having them assess South Grid Road to see if it was truly a wetland. Um, Okay. No, that's fine. It just when I first read it, I'm like, no, it I, sounds yeah, like we were saying though, uh, it we're going to tell them to, you know, make it so that it's a wetland, but yeah. as a wetland question mark? No, <laughs> but well, that that that's my only uh, okay comment. So good move it. I'd have to, we'd have to go back and uh, listen to the motion because if it's what if that's how what Gina said, then verbatim that's what's going to be listed. But. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and certainly in the conversation above, you can see that we're we're trying to find out what it is. Mm -hmm. it's, I think it's pretty evident. So, okay, okay, thank you, Cindy. Thanks. Do you know? have one? You have also one? on page two. Okay. Line forty-four, after four point seven, just put in the word million. <laughs> oh, two point seven dollars. <laughs> yeah, four point yeah, seven dollars and seven cents. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> <laughs> well, That's good. Went right over that one. <laughs> okay, I didn't. Mike, did you have anything? No, I didn't. Why did you watch on video? Oh, <laughs> that's right. You weren't here. Right. The, the, I I didn't have any. I I thought these were pretty pretty spot on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they always Tim do a very good job. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. All right, so we had a motion. Uh, accept the minutes as, as amended. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Passes uh, uh, six. Abstain. Yes. Yeah. Six, uh, six zero one. Right? Mm -hmm. Six zero one. Mm -hmm. oh. I'll get it on the other side when we do comments. Um, Commissioner Albert. Okay, uh, public comment. Oh, no. Very, very interesting. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for sticking around. Come join oh, us. Everything yeah. is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, Commissioner comments. Cindy. Good. Um, only that one of the volunteers from the Sklar cleanup. She's just a she's a resident of Merrimack, but she found out about the cleanup because she has a friend that works at Anheuser Busch, mm -hmm. and she um, might be interested in joining the commission. So she will hopefully be here at our very next meeting to see what we're about. Nice. nice. So it will be great. 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 Thank you, Matt. Anything? Nothing. Uh, so for our next meeting, I'd like to go over the list of conservation properties. Ah, so okay. please don't lose that from the agenda. I uh, I will I will have the pared down list. Well, I'll have the full list and my recommendations for paring it down uh, out to everybody by the end of next weekend. Okay, so that way you'll have you know most of a week to look at it and dig into it. So so that'll be our first pass at it. So. Uh, the goal here is for us to settle on a list so we can provide that to town staff so they can review it and provide their inputs before we bring it to the town council. So, This is for the 111 update? 111 update, yes, sorry. Will, will we see update. that before the meeting? Like in an email? Yeah, um, I, by, by the end of next weekend, you know, Monday night at the latest, you'll have it so you'll have most of a week to look at it before our next meeting. 
So you're using the same list that that kind of one we had bouncing back and forth before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Does everyone have a copy of it? Remember, where how it's in your email. I know you, you don't. You'll, you'll, we you'll can send it to you. You'll get the full list. Yeah. I'm not going to remove anything from the list, but then I'm going to have a filter that allows you to just look at what I'm recommending. So, so and, and then you can look at what I'm not recommending, and hopefully it's obvious to you why I'm not. Like, town hall parcel. Okay, well, we're not going to be doing Chapter 111 on the town hall parcel. You know. I'm, I'm try, I want to add that extra detail, okay, so everyone has it, so. Uh, and I'll apolo I do want to apologize, especially if the folks from the library are, are listening. I haven't responded to their to their offer for help, and I will get that out this week. So, great, thank you. Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, thank you for the warm welcome. I look forward again to working with everybody. Um, and to anything that would I think the most recent thing that's occurred with the council, and you folks are probably already aware of it, is. They we're talking about the proposed uh, hiking or path coming down from Watson Park going to the Chamberlain Bridge um, in, in hopes of connecting that path eventually over to Wildcat Falls and the, the footbridge by the Merrill, Merrill Marauders Bridge and everything like that. So, uh, you know, that's kind of the topic right now for us as far as uh, the parks and land and some uh, developing some of the hiking and biking trails and stuff like that. So, which I'd like to see. I think this community's got some great opportunities for it you know so and people want to do it we all know that mm -hmm. we all do it so yeah. i'd want to walk it just to walk under the bridge yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. i just think that and that's the thing I'm, i can't be the only one you know and, and you know i we did cleanup day and one of my duties was on earth was watson park so i ended up going getting in around that fence and you they've got some of that old concrete structure that's got to come down and it's not a good area and I like to see that area get cleaned up as well. Um, but it was interesting to see because I was looking at envisioning where that's going to come through yeah. there. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting that you bring that up because we talked about at the Wildcat Falls subcommittee that some it, there's just more interest now at Wildcat mm -hmm. Falls and people are coming and the parking lot is getting very full very quickly. Yeah. And there's spillover traffic, spillover parking now in Curry, which they're not supposed to park there. Mm -hmm. So what will cure that is if we have parking now at Watson and we have parking at the high school and they can get around on there. So that's good timing. Yeah. So. Um, while I was going through the scouts, the emails looking at for scouts, I found something dated May 12th. It was one of the stay in touch forms. And you were probably on vacation then, weren't you? Or going on vacation around then? Um, I just want to make sure that someone responded to his name is Elliot Hallam, H A L O M. And it said he's interested in um, Wildcat Falls, it's, uh, interested in helping with trail maintenance, would like to work on outdoor classroom. I have trail markers I could donate, as well as some birdhouses and a bat house. So would you like this? Do you want to get in touch with them? Wildcat Falls? No. I'm sorry. Greater Woods. Oh. Yeah. Never mind. Yep. Greater Woods. Property is Greater Woods. So I'll give this to you. That has his contact information. Great. And that's all I have. Great. Thank you, Jim. Mike, my yeah. only comment is uh, that last batch of pictures that got sent. Uh, oh yeah, they were awesome. I haven't, I haven't looked at them yet. They were like professional. So, so that's the young lady that did the um, the bug uh, oh. book oh. as her project. Um, oh, oh. So those are yeah. Fabulous. I thought that, I thought that name. I, the name familiar. looked familiar, yeah. so I. I did all mm -hmm. you know emails that we've ever gotten in, in that <laughs> so that the sa same girl oh wow i mean yeah. you could tell that yeah she knew what she was doing. talented they yeah. were fantastic yeah. 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 one b in motion like, yeah. Well, that's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you'll get to see some of that once we get you on the email list <laughs> yeah her name was molly jacobson i actually did write that yeah. down yeah. Yeah. yeah she was awesome fabulous pictures. yep yeah. excellent yeah. Yeah. So has anyone yeah. ever, so has anyone ever met her did you meet her yes yeah. she, she came, came in yeah she came it was a while ago. Yeah, so. those, those are beautiful. All right, and I don't, I don't have any comments to share, so. Second. Motion by Cindy, second by Matt. Okay, All those in favor? Aye. 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 This is 700 at 819.